Hi guys, I'm back and today we are doing some advanced stamping or reverse stamping, whatever you would like to call it. Um, this one I already have prepared. It's just drying up right now so I can peel it off. So, in the meantime, we'll get to the second one. This is a backup stamp stamper that I have. Um, it came in this funky little kit that my husband got me. It was junk, really. But, I do like the handle on this and it sits flat when I'm trying to draw. This extra head actually came with this stamper from Amazon. CC and Sissy. And... My plate. My scramper. Blah, blah. My scraper. Jeez. This is my plate. Which is also another queen plate. This one is number two. Okay. Let's get started. First we're going to do the outline in the silver. And then we'll be coloring in the spots. Real quick. Okay, you can see that came out really nice. Can we get this thing to focus or what? Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. Nicely stamped. Okay, so we're going to clean this off. Yes. Clean this off so I can get this out of my way. Okay, so anyways, this is the daughter that I'm going to use. Um, before I do that, <clears throat> I would like to put a thin layer of top coat on this. Um, every time I've tried to do this without some top coat on this, it peels up the design. It sticks to my daughter with the other polish I'm trying to put down, and it messes it up every single time. So, let's let that dry and we'll start coloring it in. Let's start coloring. In the background, this time, I am watching Inception. Who else watches movies when doing nail art? I try to listen to music before, but... I get too antsy with my fingers, so I usually scroll around Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. So, while I'm doing this, it's just easier to watch a movie for background noise than listen to music. Alright, I started with the red, and as carefully as you can, definitely not doing the best job. Let me see if I can do this a little bit. Uh, hopefully you can see that a little better. Maybe. Okay, so yeah, just go around randomly and fill in some red spots. And we're going to do this with each color, so make sure you fill in enough so it's like an equal part for each color but also enough to where your other colors don't have to group you know like three yellows together or a purple together actually it's blue definitely looks purple uh, I'll go right there okay yellow Did it again, didn't I? Damn it. Oh no, I could do that right there. Don't mind me mumbling to myself, I do that. <clears throat> Alright, next color. So, Boundless Berry, Limitless Lemon, this one is Timeless Teal, and Infinite Indigo is last. 
all four colors pretty sheer but way more opaque and colorful than remember the um, sheer tints OPI sheer tints these are much more full bodied color I don't know I'm not a good describer Describer. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Alright, be a little carefuler than I am. I definitely just went over into the yellow a little bit. On the edges it's fine, but when you're going next to another color, try not to overlap them. You will see that later on. Okay, and last, but definitely not least, infinite indigo. Okay, I'm gonna turn that down. I will fill in all the last open spots. I really like this color, it's really pretty. Okay. Jesus. Why does that keep happening? Okay, so I've got this one done. I just have to top coat it so it'll stay. And let me get that top coat. Why is lighting so bad right now? No, yeah, I don't know. I should have used the white stamper. Sorry. This one's just steady to work with because it's flat, you know. Make sure you're using your HK Girl to keep it from smudging. Okay, now let me show you this one. Now, the top coat that I put on the top is all dried. So I'm just kind of unstick this around the edges. Pick that up nicely. Whoa. Okay, carefully. And most stamper heads are curved a little, so invert it. So the design is on this side. Okay, now we are going to trim it so it fits the nail. Let me get my little scissors. Okay, gotta be honest with you. This is where I struggle the most. I hate this part so very much. And it just is not fun for me. Okay, I do this. Kinda get a gauge where I gotta cut off. Okay. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> not the best scissors. For that being curved and all, huh? All right, so we'll just do this right around the edge of the collar. Should be a good size. I should get a solid template. So I don't got to do this nonsense. Alright. 
So this is, you know, just basics, just to get it close enough. No. I'm going to put a layer. Should I do the silver? No, I'm going to do the clear. Okay. Put a layer of the top coat on whatever finger you're going to add that to. on the decal. Okay, now here's my struggle. I cut it. <laughs> I do this, it slides around. I am just I can't even believe I did this design before. You know, just one of those things you're like, wow, how did I do that? Alright, so, you know, just kind of flatten it as much as you can without killing your design and wrinkling the crap out of it like I do. Alright. Buffer block. I'm going to just take this. Let's see. This is just a little buffer block. It's available at Sally's. I honestly don't remember how much it is at the moment, but... <clears throat> okay. Well, we got that evened. Anyways, now with this, I'll come in with the clippers because I feel like I can get closer without messing things up, you know? Trying to get these corners. Ugh. You really probably shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. This is probably not safe. Alright, I'm just gonna leave it. I'll get it with acetone because I don't wanna mess nothing up here. Anyways, so now that I have that, I'm gonna put top coat again on the top. That one is drying. You yucky. I'll take this one off. If you use HK Girl, should be dry by now. Except I can't get. There we go. Ooh, flipped it for me. Nice, nice. gonna do this one so I really think I'm only gonna do two just because just because it's such an asshole just want to get you a quick video and ooh this one was stuck enough ooh but still wet enough yeah that's sticking nicely I didn't even have to add anything so weird Alright, so let's trim this side up. Now, it seems right now like I'm having an easier time with this. And definitely am, but I've done this before. <laughs> this is not how it usually goes for me. 
Am I even in these? Obviously not the best multitasker, huh? Alright, so, yeah, not the best, not the worst. You get the idea, right? You know? Stained glass idea. Don't forget, after you clean up, especially with pure acetone, replenish with cuticle oil. This one, delicious. I suggest it. I suggest anything from their shop. Jill is just the best. They're also from Connecticut. I am from Connecticut, so I guess that's a little, you know, maybe I'm picking sides. But her products speak for themselves. Go find out. You'll see. Picture in the end. Thanks for watching.